Hi everyone, so I wanted to share with you my story behind minimalism. What it was that made me fall into minimalism, how I've let it infiltrate organically into other parts of my life because this has been one of the most powerful movements I've ever experienced and something that I have been now incorporating in my life for over four years with the benefits and beauty continuously growing every single day. Now, if you've watched any of my videos um, around minimalism, you would know that it was actually suffering from postnatal depression and post-traumatic stress syndrome that triggered um, me to find some sort of solution in my life. I distinctively remember sitting on the sofa up the back of this house, feeling so drowned and suffocated and overwhelmed. And there was just so much stuff surrounding me. So many like um, bottle cleaning equipments and um, just excess things in my life. There, uh, there wasn't a home for anything. And everything in my mind felt so disorganized and, and cluttered. I couldn't see the forest from the trees. And I just, it really impacted my mental health. And I came across, I think it was something from The Minimalist, maybe um, one of their podcasts or a blog post. I can't remember because I was in such a bad headspace at the time. But it made me immediately get to work. And I immediately started to declutter that cupboard that was right in front of me at the back of the house. And I immediately felt an improvement. I felt a shift. I felt better. And I realized I wanted to learn more about minimalism. So I continuously listen to um, podcasts, read blogs, read books, watch videos, learn more and more about it. And initially I went through my home. I went through the cupboards, you know, the pantry, the fridges, everything around me that felt when I've got this anxiety or feeling of overwhelm when I opened things up. And I learned to say no to letting new things come into my home without doing careful research and planning before that it had such a, an immediate impact in making me feel better. I then decided, okay, I'm gonna work with my wardrobe and see how I can streamline my wardrobe so that things weren't squashed and crushed. But I was able to respect and honor all the individual items in my wardrobe and see if they actually reflected who I was, the style that I admired and the message that I wanted to you know, portray you know, and made me feel comfortable about myself. So it continued, you know, it grow, went from being more about sort of practicality and efficiency and organization to then being about the way I presented myself to the world. I then started to look at, you know, the way I ran my finances. Is there a way of running my personal finances in a more efficient way? Is there a way to make it even easier? Is, it, is there a way to make it even faster and therefore more enjoyable? And even things like, you know, looking at simplifying my financial goals instead of having lots of different financial goals flying all over the place, which is great. Maybe I could be more successful if I just simplified them, made them more defined, made them clearer, um, you know, didn't maybe have as many. And it just is amazing what this process I went through did to my life. And then of course I started to look at things like that I was using in my bathroom. Did I need to have three or four different moisturizers going at the same time? No, I didn't. And I learned to just stop, not buy anything else, but slowly use up all those individual products, even though sometimes it took me a while before just deciding I'm gonna stick with one brand. And then when I decided to stick with the brand that I liked the most, it also, I found the benefit of that was shopping became so much easier because I didn't have to waste time staring at the shelves, looking at all these different products. I knew which one I loved. I knew which one that worked best for my skin and for my needs. And I quickly grabbed it and got on with my life. And of course, you know, this just has continued on. It's also continued on to some of my social circles, you know, identifying the people who I really love, the people who I want to spend my spare time and that I free up from this lifestyle movement. I can I have that time to then spend time with them. But also I have the time to then spend time alone. I have an amazing GP and he's always said to me, Canna, every person, particularly women and particularly mothers, must have some time set aside either per day or per week to go and sit in a cafe with no children, no animals, no phones, nothing, and just be able to sit by themselves and enjoy their own company and switch off for a period of time. And I think this is probably one of the best advice I've ever received because I know for myself, when I prioritize doing this, even if it's just for 10, 15, 20 minutes, I feel like my cup is full again. And I feel like I'm happier again. I feel like I'm more present. I'm more engaging to have a conversation with. I listen harder. I feel more. 
I have better ideas and solutions and my energy levels and my passion is back again. The other thing that I've learned from minimalism is the judgment that actually comes from minimalism. There are people out there who have these very defined um, understandings of minimalism and if you don't have, if you have more than X amount of products or X amount of clothes, you're not technically a minimalist. That is not true at all. Everyone's journey is so individual. Someone might come from a home that was, you know, a hoarder's home and their, their home to someone may seem still very cluttered and they yet they call themselves a minimalist. That is perfectly fine. It is your own journey. It is your own definition. It is your own process. And the thing about minimalism is it works with you. It grows with you. And there'll be times in your life where you do have to have more things in your life and things in your home. And that is perfectly normal and part of the process. But now when I look back and how far I've come with minimalism and the clarity, the focus, the energy that it's given me back in my life and that it's able to give me so much more passion and excitement for life. And it has been a significant part in healing from postnatal depression and the post-traumatic stress syndrome has been like instrumental along with of course other professional help and guidance along the way. It is significantly contributed to my, what's my personal growth and healing. And when I look at the gift of minimalism, really what it's given me is given me a voice. From doing this and going through this experience, I've been able to share my wisdom, I've been able to share my tips, I've been able to share my journey with other people around me and it's also been able to help them in their own challenges, in their own situations, in their own personal setbacks and help them progress forward. And even just little things like having a more tidy and organized home to create a more harmonious, um, you know, secure environment or having a clutter free car so that when you get in your car, you just simply drive off and don't get, you know, the car's not dangerous, the car's not, you know, there's no distractions in your way. Or even just, you know, having a better health plan or, or food plan because you're more simplistic in the way that you minimize your food wastage and you minimize, you know, the, the simple food that's, that you put into your body and make it really efficient and effective for your body. What Being able to create powerful and meaningful conversations around minimalism has actually been probably the biggest and best benefit of this incredible movement. So for this video, I just wanted to share with you this particular conversation because I'm always amazed by where minimalism has taken me and where it is continuously taking me. So if you have anything you'd like to share with me about your journey into minimalism or any questions you have about minimalism, if you're thinking about dipping your toe in, please put a comment in the comment box below. I always love hearing from you and I always love talking about minimalism. Have a fantastic week everyone and don't forget to check out my playlist which is purely dedicated to all my videos around minimalism and how to incorporate it into your life and other areas where you can let it grow and infiltrate for further benefit. See you soon. Ciao for now.